It's now uh, 755. We have five things to know on this Saturday. We are looking ahead to big developments in the Steubenville rape case today. The hacker group Anonymous is behind a noon rally today at the Jefferson County Courthouse. Anonymous helped get national attention for the rape investigation. Two Steubenville High School football players are accused of raping an unconscious 16-year-old girl. The boys have been charged. As many as seven Pro Football Hall of Fame candidates could be hearing their name called today. That's when the selection committee will release this year's list. It's a crowded one, too. There are 15 names. The biggest name on the list that Browns fans will remember is former owner Art Modell. He moved the team from Cleveland to Baltimore, obviously, when they eventually won a Super Bowl there. And the Great Big Hoban Garden Expo kicks off in Cleveland this morning. Cedra has been putting a, a sneak peek at the getting a sneak peek at the show. Cedra joins us now live from the IX Center. Bloom. That's because it's all about spring, and in just about two hours, the Great Big Home and Garden Show will open its doors to the public here at the IX Center, complete with everything from 650 exhibitors to live demonstrations and this true-to-life style construction. Now, I want to give you a sneak peek inside. We're walking inside a 4,000 square foot Tuscan-style home. Crews tell me it took them two months to build this house inside the IX Center, and it is a complete house. It's just one of many things you can check out today at the show and organizers tell me whether you're an expert or a beginner into home improvement or gardening this show has something for everybody again doors open this morning at 10 i'm gonna go ahead and keep checking out this house but for now josh we'll send it back into you all right cedra thanks so much for your reports this morning new developments about the future of the west side market in cleveland it's a big story we're following the city rehired uh, restore xmd to clean up and repair the building after a fire swept through there wednesday morning the company will begin tomorrow the repairs are expected to take about 10 days yesterday the city gave the okay for the separate produce section to reopen the Charter One Foundation is donating $10,000 to help out the vendors losing business while the market is closed. Also, a new traveling exhibit is opening at the Great Lakes Science Center today. It's called Lost Egypt, and it reveals how archaeologists use modern science to understand the ancient civilization of Egypt. Now, this interactive exhibit features a real human mummy as well as animal mummies. Great Lake Science Center is open daily from 10 o'clock until 5. And if you're heading there, it's going to be a cold day. Cold start, huh, Trent? Absolutely. Uh, here's what this is the video from Punxsutawney Phil. Yes. In, uh, in, on Gobbler's Knob in Pennsylvania. He didn't see his shadow. That means Yay! early spring, which, which means, well, technically speaking, he's wrong. Because <laughs> Quit ruining our Groundhog Day trend. Either way, spring begins March 20th. Um, <laughs> Let's talk about the snowy weather outside this morning. Let's take a look at your seven day forecast. It puts us with more snow today, another couple inches tomorrow. Be careful on the roadways. All in all, it's not a massive snowstorm at once, but over these next four or five days, we could get, you know, some areas could get a good six, seven inches of new snow. Just adding a couple inches mm -hmm. each day, so we got to be careful out there. Uh, also, a lot of a lot of high school events going on. St. Ed's has a big wrestling uh, wrestling meet today. They're actually uh, uh, inviting a team from New Jersey. Oh, wow. National scale wrestling uh, high school. So head on out to St. Ed's and support those wrestlers. All right, and look forward to an early spring, hopefully, if uh, the groundhog has anything to do with it, huh? <laughs> uh, have a good Saturday, everybody. We'll see you back here next Saturday morning for Good Morning Cleveland. Until then, uh, you can find the latest news on our website, newsnet5.com. Take care. Closed captioning of Good Morning Cleveland is sponsored by your Northeast Ohio Ford dealers. Until our next newscast, stay connected through Newsnet5.com, at home or on the go. News where you want it, how you want it. From News Channel 5, on your side.